ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಡಿಯರ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲೊಮಾ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೈವಾ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫೈನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುನಿಟ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯುನಿಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ commonly asked in the examinations let us let us study and also discuss on that okay so this will also help you for the skill test and also final exam please focus on this and also better you take down these questions and answers after the end of this video okay so first question first question is what is communication most commonly asked question communication is the process of sending and receiving messages through verbal or non verbal means it involves sender message channel and receiver so like this you should answer okay next what are the four elements of communication the four elements of communication are people people include sender and receiver next message context and listening okay next question what is the difference between verbal and non verbal communication you should answer like this verbal communication involves words in bracket words may be spoken or written words okay while non verbal communication includes gestures facial expressions body language and tone of voice next question what is the role of feedback in communication so what is the role of feedback in communication so if you look at the block diagram of the communication process then you'll you'll see that there is a feedback so what is the role of that okay so feedback ensures the sender knows the message has been understood correctly by the receiver helping to clarify or resolve misunderstandings okay next what are some barriers to effective communications barriers include language differences cultural differences environmental noise and personal attitudes next question why is listening an essential part of communication listening listening ensures understanding builds relationships and improves the effectiveness of communication by interpreting the speaker's intent okay next what are traditional and modern communication tools traditional tools traditional tools includes letters reports and brochures otherwise post cards like that okay while modern tools include emails video conferencing and instant messaging apps instant messaging apps like whatsapp telegram like that okay next what are next question what are components of an email components of email include to cc bcc subject message body and attachments so cc here is carbon copy bcc is blind carbon copy okay next question how does video conferencing how does video conferencing help in communication video conferencing allows face to face communication over distances enabling collaboration maintaining relationships and reducing misunderstandings okay next question what is the importance of tone and body language in communication answer is tone and body language convey emotions and intentions often influencing how the message is perceived by the receiver next 11th one what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous communication synchronous communication means 
Synchronous communication happens in real time. Example video calls in case of video conferencing. Okay. While a synchronous communication allows delays. Example emails and messages. Okay. Next question. What are the steps for creating an email account? The steps are given here. First visit a mail provider website. For example Gmail. Second step, click on create account. Third step, fill in the details like name, date of birth, etc. Next step, choose a username and password. Next step, complete verification. Okay. Next question, what are the advantages of modern communication methods? Advantages of modern communication methods include faster communication faster communication global reach cost effectiveness and interactivity next question how can cultural differences act as barriers to communication cultural differences can lead to misinterpretation of language gestures and values Causing misunderstandings. Okay. Next question. What is active listening? Active listening involves fully focusing, understanding, responding and remembering what the speaker is saying. Next question. What are the steps? What are the steps in the communication process? First step. Sender encodes the message. Second step, the message is sent through a channel. Third step, the receiver decodes the message. Fourth step, feedback is provided by the receiver. Okay. Next, 17th question. How does context influence communication? Context, actually situation. Okay. Context sets the tone and meaning of the message based on location, time, relationship and cultural background. What is the significance of subject lines in emails? Subject lines summarize the email's content, helping recipients understand its purpose without opening it. Next question. What are some common video conferencing tools? Examples of video conference tools are Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet and Cisco Webex. Last question. What is Whisper Game and what does it demonstrate? The whisper game is an activity where a message is passed through a chain of participants. It demonstrates how messages can get distorted during transmission. So this activity you might have in your class. So these are total 20 questions most frequently asked in the examination. Please pre prepare well these viva questions because it will help you skill test this will help you in skill test and also final exam. And also better you write these questions and answers in the activity book. Okay. This will help you to read and also prepare well. So I think this video will help you a lot for examination preparation. Like this, I will be sharing communication skills lab related videos in this channel. If you are visiting this channel first time, please subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for immediate notification. Thank you. Thank you dear students.